You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good Wednesday morning. We begin with that breaking news from Ohio, a truly stunning development. Ariel Castro found dead of an apparent suicide. The man who pleaded guilty earlier this year running a house of horrors in Cleveland was to spend the rest of his life in prison. No one knew his life would end so soon. The last time we saw 53-year-old Ariel Castro was at his sentencing on August 1st. It was an extraordinary court session in which one of the three women Castro kidnapped and raped for years summoned the courage to address Castro directly. I spent 11 years in hell. Now your hell is just beginning. I will overcome all this that happened. But you will face hell for eternity. If that eternity didn't start in prison, it's underway now. Castro was found last night hanging in his 12 foot by 8 foot prison cell. He was in protective custody in that cell alone because of the notoriety of his case. Castro was checked on by prison staff every 30 minutes, but he wasn't on suicide watch. When he was found, CPR was performed before he was taken to a hospital. Castro was pronounced dead just before 11 p.m. local time last night. I am not uh, those were among Castro's final public words, part of his bizarre, rambling 16-minute statement at his sentencing. Trying to make me look a monster. I'm not a monster. I'm a normal person. I am just sick. He claimed he had been sexually assaulted as a child, that he was addicted to pornography, and that the sex he had with Amanda Berry, Gina DeJesus, and Michelle Knight was consensual. I just hope that they find it in their hearts to forgive me. Unlikely, given the words of one of Gina DeJesus' relatives. To Ariel Castro. Translation, may God have mercy on your soul. De Jesus' brother tells us his family is aware of the situation and that, quote, they are all doing okay so far. Obviously, there are a lot of questions this morning about how Castro was apparently able to take his own life. Ohio police are just beginning their investigation. We will have much more on Good Morning America.